Hello, this is Nick, also known as Mr. Blend 5000. Finally, getting a Blender video done. This is my fifth attempt at making a working video. My computer has been absolutely ridiculous with trying to make videos, so I'm on my friend's computer doing it now. <laughs> Anywho, so, um, I think it's like a month ago I said I was going to do a health bar tutorial upon request, and, well... I'm finally going to do it. So sit back, relax, get a pen and paper, and let's do her up. <laughs> so first what we're going to do is we're going to delete our default cube because no one likes default cubes, and we're going to add a cube. Um, okay, so we're going to GZ our cube up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the logic behind the health bar mechanic. And what I want you to do is I want you to take that logic as your own, take it, hold it close to you, and spread your wings and fly with it. Just fly away with that logic. And do beautiful things with it. So, here we go. After adding our cube, we're going to add spacebar, add mesh plane, size our plane up. And that's going to be our floor, because this is in the game engine, we have to realize. So we need the floor. Yeah, okay. So, once we have our cube and our floor, we're going to give our our cubes and physics so we're gonna go here this is our in our game logic panel and we're gonna make him dynamic so when we hit our P key he goes to the floor awesome and we're just gonna put a bit closer to the floor beautiful 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 okay awesome so we have that now essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill the cube and to do that we need a monkey we need a monkey. A happy little monkey. Look at him. Look at his little smile. A oh, little smile. A little happy little monkey. It's a happy little chimpanzee. Happy little primate. And in our game logic panel, we're going to give him dynamic as well. And hit our P key. Make sure the monkey falls on top of the cube. That is very important. Very important indeed. Yes, of course. Alright, so once we have that, now here's where the sticky stuff comes in. Now we're going to start working with the properties. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our cube again, and we're going to hit Add Property, and we're going to name it Cube. Simple as that. And see this little thing over here that says Float? Uh, we're going to want to change that to Int, which stands for Integer Value. And so pretty much what this does, it assigns a pro an integer property to the cube with a value of 0. Alright, we got that. Sounds like a dandy old plan. And we're going to just click on this little D, which means it's going to print the debugging info on this cube. And in order for that to show up, you have to do show debug properties. So when we hit our P key, you can see up in the top left hand corner there's something that says object cube cube, which means it's just a cube object and its name is cube. And its properties equal zero. Okie dokie. Now we're going to go to our monkey and we're going to add another property. We're going to leave it as a float. Um, the way I see a float is just like a, just a, just a little chillin' value. It doesn't really, when I use it at least, it's pretty static. It just kind of chills there, chillaxes, you know, just does his thing, his little property thing. And we're going to name it monkey. Dice? No, I didn't spell that. Moin? Moinky? No. Monkey. Ha 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 ha. And same thing, hit the D key. And so now we have a cube and a monkey both with their own respect, respect properties. Okie okay, dokie, okay. so, highlight a cube, add a sensor, add a controller, add an actuator, connect the dots, and for our sensor, it's going to be collision sensor. So when it collides with the property of monkey, so something with the property of monkey, and we always leave the controller the same, the actuator is going to be property, add a value of 1 to the property of cube. It's a pretty simple algorithmic uh, process. So once you get this sense, then it's pretty pretty straightforward. So what happens is when this monkey hits this cube, the value up in the top left-hand corner is going to increase. Watch. Bam, 1. All right, we get that? Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move our cube back here and we're just going to let the monkey fall to the ground 
and the cube is going to have some movement here. I'm just going to give him a basic forward motion towards the monkey. So, oh, 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 keyboard, W, um, and we look at our little arrows here to tell what direction. Green is Y, so it's going to be in the negative Y direction, so we go X, Y, and hit key key. So, hits the monkey, one, hits it again, two, hits it again, three, four, habla, habla, habla. So, we're going to add another set of sensor controllers and actuators. And this one's going to be a property. So, when the property of cube is equal to three, uh, end object. All right, so we're going to go one, properties one, two, properties two, three, the cube's dead. And that, my friends, is how one does the whole health bar mechanic. As for making it fancy and, you know, getting, like, like an, a real visible health bar, um, you're on your own. Um... <laughs> I, I haven't really done a lot of work with that. I've just been savvy with knowing that my cube is three lives. But I will do my best to try and get some more health stuff going here. Make a nice little healthy cube. Maybe have like a pickup. Something that when you hit it, it disappears and it decreases your property by one. Ergo giving you more health. Oh. Yay! See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean with this thing. Like, you could take this knowledge and just fly with it. Just fly with it. Fly over the happy little trees. Do with it what you will. But that is finally a health bar tutorial. I'm so glad I was finally able to get this done. So, I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. And I shall video to you all later.